Alright guys, we're back here with another Dokkan Battle video and for today's video we're going to be taking on the easy A here for our boy uh, Future Gohan. Um, let's go ahead and jump in here. Now in terms of um, my team, here let me see if I can find, yeah, me, yeah there we go, that's better. Uh, so here's my team, it's 18, here let me do this so it's easier. Um, so 18 or 21, I mean, she's 100% easy aid. Cell is 55. This guy's 100% easy aid. Same, same with you. Same with you. And you're 69. And I sh think that's it. Yeah. Um, and I'm running set team because extreme ideal tech and STR are the advantageous characters. So let's go ahead and jump in. And I did bring the 21 friend because uh, she's probably the best Android lead. Um, plus, you know, she has type advantage uh, against Gohan, so. W wait, give me a second. What's his defense? Or his leader? Key 4. Okay, so he's key 4, 150. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Yeah, it looks like the other 21 is better, so we'll do this. And boom. Alright. Now, in terms of this EZA, right? Um,. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, he, she has dodge. Okay. Uh, she, that's not from her passive, though. That's from uh, the Hina Potentials. But, um, I don't know. I feel like this has been, this EZA has been one of the, not, I want to say it's hard, but this guy just had, he either just has a lot of health or he has a lot of defense or something. I don't know. But this guy is like taking a while to take down. You know what I mean? Uh, let me do this. Ooh. So we'll probably have a nice attack side here uh, with all the support. Hopefully he does. Let's see. Because last time I ran him, he he barely got like a million attack side. Yeah, there's, there he is at 2 million. That's nice. Uh, considering he's got the support going on and stuff, he that that's, that's okay. Alright. Okay. Oh my god. And then there's 17 at 4.6. Now, I believe this guy is the one who gets the extra defense when there's another 17. So that's why he, he's able to hit so hard without another 17 on rotation, right? There's 18 going off. Nice. I was actually running the uh, Super STR one, the one from the Bio Broly movie, but um, she was super, so she wasn't doing any damage. So I changed her for this one. Then let me do this. And here, who the, do they link up better? No, I mean, only for legendary power. We'll do this. But he, I don't know. Um, yeah, like like I said, I feel like this guy is a bit more tankier than the others. Um, but again, it might just be me, right? I don't know. I'm really excited to try out this uh, physical future Gohan, though. I feel like he's pretty strong, and... The thing is, I really need him for Connected Hope, um, legendary, the Connected Hope mission for the Legendary Vegeta event, I think it is. It's either the Vegeta event or the Goku event. I'm pretty sure it's the Vegeta event. Um, but, um, oh my god, this stupid tutorial thing. Okay. Alright, alright. Um, let me change you for you. Perfect. Alright. Right. Let's do this. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the connected hope stage, right? Wait, let me do... Should I do this, actually? I think I might, just because of uh, the other 17 coming back um, on the next rotation. So, um, what, were, what was I saying? I forgot. What was I saying? Dang it. Um... Oh, physical future Gohan, right? Because, um, yeah, again, I need him for the connected hope stage. And I think, um, I might be wrong, but I think that um, the, this future Gohan has, like, he's got really nice damage reduction. But then he's got re uh, a huge amount of stats if you have another Trunks on rotation, I think it might be, or on the team. And... That's good because uh, one of the units that I'm running on my Connected Hope uh, team is the are those um, Super Trunkses. 
So I think that, you know, by running them together, that could probably work really well, you know? So um, I'm excited to easy a this guy and just go ahead and try him out, you know? Because I think, I think he gets like 120% attack and defense only if a Trunks, like only because of Trunks being on the team or on the rotation, like I said. Um, which is massive. It's a massive difference, right? So we shall see. All right, all right, let me see. Um, no, was that no additionals by 18? That's fine. Uh, okay, perfect. We should be able to move on to the next fight. Not yet, actually, okay. I will do this, then this should finish it off for us. Dude, look at the amount of key that the androids are at, that's insane. They're a really good unit in my opinion. Just because of the amazing support that they're able to provide and plus the amount of key that they give, like, 4 key is incredible. Especially for a team with like some LRs and stuff. like. The Android 17, oh, no, 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 let me not do that. Here, can we find the 21? Perfect. All right. Let's do this. Um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, especially like this Tech 17, he greatly uh, is helped out by the Androids, I think. Okay, let me do this, and then 17 and 18 can get these right here. Okay. Boom, nice, get the extra key there. Yeah, I think this 17, he he can hit really hard and he has a good amount of defense, but I don't know, I feel like his design is still kind of crappy. Just because you want to run him with GT bosses, which like, you, you, you know what could have, what could help out the most for this tech 17? If they put, the AJL and Int 17s, the you know the pre-fusion ones, on the GT bosses team, that would immensely help help him out. I really want them to do that. Because I believe that he would be getting just extra stats on stats on stats, right? Let me see. Um Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so he doesn't get um, more stuff from, from, what's it, what's it called? From the, um, from GT bosses. But, but that is what he leads at the end of the day, right? An additional 17 per androids category, and then an additional 17 per target Goku. Okay. And then he gets extra attack after being attacked for three turns after the turn in which an attack was received oh i see i see so i think how that works is like if you get attacked he won't have the boost until the next turn i think i think that's how it works unless it activates instantly but i don't i feel like that wouldn't be the case i don't know Alright, 18. Yeah, I feel like this uh, 21 is... Uh, these two 21s are the ones that are doing most of the damage. Come on, give me a crit so we can move on to the next one. Oh my god. That, if that was a crit, we would have finished them off. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Boom. Alright. Okay, let's just have so finish it off for us here. We have noticed that all these all these are taking like t three turns, which to me that's not very common in a in a EZA, you know, in an EZA battle. 
Um, yeah, we still have four, no, three, three more. All right, come on, let's keep going here. Um, 21. All right, let's do this. But yeah, dude, uh, they revealed the, um, well, they didn't reveal them yesterday, but they revealed the, whatchamacallit, the part two LRs for, for the seven year anniversary. Uh, it's a Kaioken Goku and a, it, it's basically Saiyan Saga. Saiyan Saga Goku and Saiyan Saga Vegeta. Uh, from the beam clash sort of except Vegeta doesn't do the beam clash because uh, LR Nappa already does that right so um, they are Kaioken Goku with an active skill that does a spirit bomb and then the giant ape Vegeta has the active skill to um, transform into a giant ape right I think that's what it is and those units are <laughs> insanely powerful. Um, I mean, Goku is doing like a 15 million attacks at turn one. You know, obviously with support and stuff, but still. And then, what's what's his name? Um, here, let me do this. Okay. Uh, and then Vegeta, uh, on his 18 key, he's actually an AoE. So the way he works is he's doing like... 12 million attacks or 10 12 million attack sets which obviously you know it's less than goku but he's an aoe so for stuff like super battle road extreme super battle road like that guy is doing insane amounts of damage he's, he, he's doing more damage than probably any other unit in the game maybe maybe except for uh str broly but i don't know even then i don't know that vegeta is just insanely good um but we shall see, right? I do think that, you know, it's very, very unfortunate that, um, you know, they're they're really limited to uh, yellow coin banners, right? Because, let's be honest, not many people summon on those, right? Um, but at the same time, I feel like having said units be so insanely powerful on a yellow coin banner is going to make a lot of people summon. I mean... If the seven year anniversary comes around and you know let's say in the in my first round of summons i end up pulling you know both of the new seven year lrs right the super saiyan 4 here let me do this uh the super saiyan 4 gogeta and the super saiyan blue goku and vegeta let's say i pull them right i feel like i would probably summon on on the thing um Let's see this. On the um, yellow coin banner, which is crazy to, for me to say because I can't, I mean, I can't remember the last time I saw it on one of those things. I, I literally never, ever, ever summon, bro. Because I usually just save my stones for like massive celebrations, right? Like the anniversaries, worldwide download, uh, the step up banners, the same day banners, if they're good, right? So, I don't know, we shall see, but the way they're looking right now, I might actually summon for them. Because, again, they're insanely powerful, and on top of that, they're Saiyan Saga, which, like, Saiyan Saga is so cool, right? Uh, but I do, again, I do wish that instead of uh, being yellow coin banners, they could have been just, like, like a, a Dokkan Fest LR, because they, they truly are deserving. They're probably one of the most deserving units in the game. Who can still get a Dokkan Fest, right? The uh, Saiyan Saga, Goku and Vegeta? For sure. Because, like... I mean, let's think about it, right? Like, let's just go over the story of Dragon Ball, right? Like, Dra Raditz and Piccolo and Goku can definitely uh, get a Dokkan Fest, but from the Saiyan Saga, Vegeta and Goku are definitely the ones, you know, who are the peak, right? Uh, Nappa has an LR as well, so... And so does uh, the Krillin too, and Piccolo, um, and Tien and Chaozu. And then what's next? Uh, Frieza Saga, I mean, we already have full power Goku, or uh, full power Frieza in Super Saiyan Goku. We have transforming Super Saiyan Goku. We have, you know, the OG full power Frieza. Like, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot from that, um, that, you know, has already been covered. And then. 
Cell Saga, obviously, you know, we have the Perfect Cell, uh, Dokkan Festalar, the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Perfect uh, Dokkan Festalar. So also still, you know, pretty highly covered. We have, you know, Dokkan Fest Super Vegeta, who is also pretty good. Um, that We just got the Androids. We got the Future Gohan. There, the, and then, what else? What else is there? We, we have uh, the uh, Super Saiyan Trunks, the AGL one, who is not out on Global yet. And then, like, for Majibu Saga, I mean, we have Vegito, we have... Um, that I feel like that's probably the other character that can uh, be very highly deserving of a Dokkan Fest LR is um, LR Kid Buu or like a LR Super Saiyan um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku right because we did get a recently new um, Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 3 Goku but they're only TURs right which like in today's standards, that's not even the worst thing, just because TURs are still insanely powerful, right? Even more powerful than some LRs. But, I don't know. And then, like, GT has a ton of a ton of LRs, too. Um, probably one of them that could be, uh, would, would be, like, LR Omega Shenron. Some of the movies do, uh, are still missing a lot of LRs, like, um... I think the like the Super Saiyan Goku from the Broly movie, um, cool cooler does have an LR. Um, slug, I mean, the slug is slug really deserving of a LR? I don't know. Thirteen does have an LR either. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I do feel like Saiyan Saga is really high up there though, uh, in terms of fights that can you know use some lr representation and yeah it's nice that we finally got it but being on a legendary summon banner is kind of what's what sucks right so i don't know but we'll see i might summon actually um because again the characters seem really really good let's wait and see right if like by you know july when these characters actually come out you know if they'll still even be considered you know the craziest right because i mean that's six months for now or so nah, not even like five 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 months five six months so i don't know we'll see because who knows uh... dude who knows like what what else is coming next right like i i could very easily see dokan dropping like a 200% lead for Saiyan Day? That'd be crazy, dude. Imagine, like, a pure Saiyan... Or, here, let me think. Like, a pure Saiyan lead who is... Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Or, like, a Vegeta family lead who is also uh, worthy rivals, 200%. And, but even then, I don't know... Mm, what categories do do Vegeta Vegeta's share? Um, I don't know. They could also even do like the links. I don't know. Um, but all right, that was um, stages twenty five to thirty for the future Gohan ECA battle. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, definitely one of the longer ones. Uh, for me, I mean, we're 20 minutes into the video now. That's crazy to me. But uh, yeah, let me know down below what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next video.